and then Paris. There's a French flag and an Eiffel Tower and an Arc de Triomphe, just to prove it. I'm in Place de la Concorde at the moment, which apparently is where Louis the hundredth was executed, and his wife and like two thousand other people, but they don't count. <laughs> but apparently, they're not all that um, bothered with the, the solemnity of the thing because they have chosen to mark the spot with a giant glittery ferris wheel although maybe it's just a temporary one because i'm pretty sure last time i was here it wasn't it's so funny being here at such a different time of year because last time it was july and there were people everywhere but now it's cold and winter and it's very different you can walk there's room to move although it doesn't stop the little men from trying to sell me millions of plastic Eiffel Towers around every corner. But I guess there's slim pickings on the tourist front for them, so they have to chase me. <laughs> but it's good, it meant that I only had to queue for like an hour today to get into the catacombs, which is an improvement on last time. And then it wasn't that great. It was two kilometres of tunnel that was all the same and quite grotesque but all the same so yeah i don't know why that's on all i must see lists but it is and there is an obelisk it's like three and a half thousand years old and it's been here for a couple of hundred years i think it was given to one of the louis <laughs> plus side to them all having the same name is that you can remember it but the downside is that you can't remember which is which <laughs> I think it was Louis XIV that was executed and the cool fountains and along that way behind the jardins is the Louvre I was along that way and I suddenly realised where I was so I decided to go for a walk and take photos of it at night time. It was a little bit further than I'd remembered, but the pictures are pretty, so that's good. More tomorrow.